Hello my friends, I'm Jihondo, and welcome to Season 4 of OpenTTD. This challenge shall be named Express Only. Uh, reason for that is what we're going to be doing is doing only passengers and mail. Uh, this was a recommendation emailed to me by my new friend in Germany, a fellow named Christian, so thank you very much for that, sir. Um, we went a bit back and forth on just the logistics of just how challenging this is going to be. Um, which is why I ran the map generator a few times until I found one that had two pretty good sized cities really close together. And if I pop up here, I am going to allow myself one and only one uh, coal run. So from coal here to this power plant, uh, but only if I really need it. So I'm going to initially not connect them, but I'm leaving that as an option if the money situation starts to become a little bit dire. Um, because as you know, early on you can only carry very limited supplies, and passengers and mail don't make all that much money, so. But we're going to try it. Um, full list of the map settings I used, and the GRFs or mods that I'm using, I'll post in the description of this first video. So, again, thank you Christian for this recommendation, and let's get going. So, uh, basically I've just drawn in the map, I haven't actually done anything yet except create my cool looking dude. Um, but you can see I've not actually built anything. So let's get started. So we're obviously going to be connecting Lewis Shaw here to Slon Haven, and probably doing a bit of an inner city for both of them, um, especially for Lewis Shaw because it's already over 4,000 people. So nicely, it put out two bridges for me here. So if I ever need to get going out here, that saves me a lot of money. And it actually looks like they've already started building some houses out that way too. So that's very good. Very, very good. Okay. Now I guess the real question right off the bat is, do I want to do this with regular trucks and buses? Well, for now it's going to be horse-drawn anyway, but generally speaking, do I want to do mostly road vehicles or trams? That's a very interesting question. Um, this early on, I don't have a whole lot of available vehicles to choose from anyway. Uh, if I set this to passengers, for example. I mean, all I have is, you know, because I'm starting in 1800, all I have is the horse-drawn, but it's a case of whether I want to do trams or just road horses. Um, the trams definitely carry more people, and they're not that much more expensive to run. Well, a fair bit, but they carry a lot more people, and they're at the same speed, so I think I'm going to start with trams. Decision made. <laughs> I uh, tried this a couple times for practice off camera, and because I didn't have two cities that were particularly close together, I didn't last very long, so that's why I've let myself generate the map until I got that, and I'm having that option for a coal run. Well, hello, devil. Hello, sir. I'm so glad you've decided to join me, but I can't really see what's on the left side of my screen now. So this isn't really going to work, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's get some... Passenger streetcar stations going here. <clears throat> Please sit down, sir. Please. Please. Sir. Thank you. Alright, we can probably get two to cover all of Slonhaven. And it'll probably take three, maybe four to do Lewis Shaw. Okay, that's fine. We can handle that. Just a case of where do I want to place them? Probably... Probably one here, because it's going to connect over to that way. And they'll come in, they'll come up. Yeah, they'll come up, connecting here. And between those two, that governs a lot of that city. And then maybe just continue up to grab some of the stuff up here. Maybe that'll be a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. And then for now, they can just turn around and go right back. That's fine. Over here... I'll put, I'll say maybe one here. And one here. And maybe another one down here. Is the, yeah. Okay, let's do that. 
So it'll come in, up, around, and loop back around and out. Okay. That'll work. That'll work just fine. It's going to be a pretty busy station, but that's fine. On this side, they're just going to come in straight up to here. Now, which way should I loop around? Probably this way. So I think I'll have to build some road here. But that's fine. We can do that. At some point, maybe I'll build the actual road there, but for now, it's not that big a deal. Actually, there's a building right there. That's really not good. Everyone close your eyes for a moment. Achoo! <laughs> I didn't see a thing. Nobody saw a thing. <laughs> and then we just need to connect these guys here. Beautiful. Okay. So far, so good. And we should do freight, because we should do mail as well. So let's do that while we're at it. That'll be part of Lewis Shaw. That'll be central. And this one can be west. And over here. Beautiful. Let's do... That's just Slon Haven. This one will be central. And I don't really have anywhere to put it. I guess it'll have to be here. East. So these two are a little bit too close together, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Alright, let's get ourselves a depot. Probably just plunk it right in between the two routes here. It's going to be a busy little area, but that's okay. I don't mind. Kitty? Sir? You're being very distracting. Okay. So, double the cost. And literally no difference except for a bit more speed. And it's not even quite double. So I'm not sure that that's really worth paying the extra for. But I think I will anyway, just because so, these are already abysmally slow. At 20, it's going to seem terribly slow, let alone at 13. Sir, I'm going to need you to sit down. I can't see any of the screen when you stand in front of my eyes like this. Please? Sir? Sir? Come on. Okay, I guess I'll do it with a cat butt in my face. Great. Yeah, we're going to go with a two-horse tram. Okay. And actually, I guess I'm going to need two of these. One for passengers and one for mail, so I may as well set them both up at the same time. And again, the same thing. Costs twice as much, but it goes much faster, so we'll go with that. Alright, so you shall be... Lewis Shaw to Slon Haven. And since I'm only ever doing passengers and mail, I really can just say P and M. Be very simple. Very simple indeed. And you are going to be very similar. It's also very difficult to type with one arm trying to dangle over top of a cat. <laughs> That's the joys of cat ownership, I guess. Okay. Their actual route, I'll be able just to copy. So that'll be helpful. I have to make sure that's set to mail. Obviously for the passenger one, that's the only thing it carries, so I don't have to worry about that. Now let's get the route. So, coming from this depot, we're going to come down here to Lewis Shaw, over here to Central, and over to west. Back through the depot, because they're going so slow the maintenance is going to be terrible. To Slon Haven, Slon Central, 
Salon East. If I can find it to click on it, there we go. And then it restarts and goes back to depot. Perfect. And we will do you. Can't share order list. Why? Okay, that was strange. It said no and then let me do it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I don't pretend to understand, but we'll go with that. So they are both happy. Now the real question of the day is, how many of each of these do I need? Slon Haven's got nearly 200 passengers and 95 mail. And Lewis Shaw, about 500 passengers and 250 mail. Now those numbers will drop, um, but not by much, I don't think. So these things hold 15 passengers. I need somewhere between 10 and 20 of them, I think. Wow. And for the mail, probably... Because they hold, what, 12 pieces of mail? Yeah. Uh, so that would be 8 to 12? Yowzes. Okay, well, so be it. So let's get ourselves a whole stack of all of these. say probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 of them for the passenger. It's a good thing these things pick up orders when you clone them and I don't have to go through and set that all the time. That would be terrible. And so let's say maybe 10 of the mail, I guess. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Thirty vehicles. Thank you. Okay, let's get rid of all of these windows. And we can tell everyone to go. Close those all off. All of these we don't need. Next, we need to repay a lot of this loan because the interest is going to be killer. So let's pay that down as much as we can, even though that doesn't leave me much cash on hand. That does cut the interest portion drastically. And we're going to go on low speed. Let's get going. And there we go. The first of 30 vehicles is out. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. There we go. And already there's tons and tons and tons of people waiting. Which is excellent. Central starts. Should be any second now. There we go. And some of the ones behind it are already starting to be able to do pickups. This very first one will never have anything to do until it's looping all the way back, but it's our pioneer, so somebody's got to uh, wake all these stations up. This station over here probably won't do quite so well, but should still do alright. But it gives you an idea of just how slow these things go. It takes a full month to go from here to the side of the city. And, I mean, realistically, that's not that far. <laughs> if, if it takes a month to travel from one end of the city to another, you have a slow vehicle. <laughs> but anyway, that's okay. We might have a bit of a bottleneck here until these get time to circulate and spread out a bit. 
So I may need to uh, make a secondary path just to separate the traffic a bit. Because these ones are now going to stop until these ones are all out. Which is not really ideal. But later, when we have better trams that can hold more, we won't need anywhere near as many of them, so that'll help quite a bit. It looks like we're finally done outputting. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. So once these ones roll, these ones should be able to start moving through. Assuming, of course, I connected this thing. Which it's starting to look like I didn't because there's a building there. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to say road vehicle in the way. Close your eyes. Achoo! I don't know what happened there. I'm sure it was nothing. <laughs> and yes, I think I'm going to have this come up here. Where am I going to connect it, though? Maybe I'll just go all the way up here. Alright. Don't have much income yet. There we go. Okay. Actually, I've asked them to come in here on the mid-path, so I really do need to connect this somewhere closer. Achoo! There. Now, some of these should be able to pop in this way once they notice that there's a path there. Which may take a bit, because they won't do it until all these are clear. <laughs> but future runs will be quicker. a bit of a gap here. If I'm quick, I might be able to get this to go. There we go. So now these ones can do that a little bit better. Okay. So it's a mess, but it'll do. I don't mind a mess. <laughs> for now, anyway. I'll want to fix that later, but for now, that will do. Salon Haven is active. Central is about to become active. There we go. It's now active. And soon East will be active as well. Freight cars are starting to get in. And East is now active. Excellent. For freight, anyway. Uh, passenger one hasn't been here yet. Their order got convoluted because of that mess I made here. So they're no longer in order, but that's fine. Not a big deal. passenger has one and there just isn't that much passenger traffic. That's also possible. Somebody is lost, you say. No, it looks like it's moving to me. Looks like it's moving just fine. Oh, they can't turn here because of all these ones. So we still do have a bit of a mess. I see. 
I see. Okay. Alright. Maybe we can fix that. Oh, there's stuff there. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, this is a mess. This is already a horrible, horrible mess. Okay, I'm gonna need somebody to move here so I can connect this, guys. You have to help me to help you. Do you understand how that works? <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> what an absolute disastrous mess. Okay, that one at least is already there. So it's just a case of getting this to cooperate. Okay, there's a bit of a gap. As long as the other side stays gapped as well. There we go. Snuck that one in. Now you have an alternate path. Now things should start to move. Presumably. But that does explain why no passengers had got here, because this one wasn't even connected. Because this one was on far here, not there. So, And now they can use this as an alternate back to here. Whoa, what a mess. <laughs> what an absolute mess. Yep, so I can foresee this being really challenging up until I think about the point where we get airplanes, because airplane passenger traffic is worth a fortune. So if I can last that long, then I'm pretty sure I'll have the, it beaten. Um, getting to that point will be very, very challenging. Especially the start. The start I can foresee being very, very difficult. Um, so we're definitely not doing all that well. <laughs> Yeah, we're not even covering expenses yet. So I may very well have to put in that um, that one coal route. But I'm going to try and avoid it if I can. I, I don't want to have to use that crutch. If it, at all possible. But I want to give them a bit more time to, you know, decide on their final route and make sure everything is rolling in a reasonable fashion before I do that. Because I haven't, some of them I'm sure haven't even completed a full route yet because of all the messes I made and all the convoluted pathing I made for them. So. <laughs> and yet clearly I need far more trams. <laughs> Big time. At least the passenger trams, maybe not necessarily the mail trams. But I clearly need way more passenger trams moving around here. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Well, we're now at a point though where we are just barely floating. Although we're still losing on loan interest, but it is definitely improving. Because the running costs are dipping pretty slowly upwards, but this is growing pretty quickly, so... I still think we have some hope here. We definitely gotta get that loan paid out. Because that's gonna be what really does the damage. Because <coughs> that's a cost you get no value out of. At least with the road running costs, you at least you have vehicles moving that make you some money, but the loan is just pure debt, and it's terrible. But, so be it. It is a necessary evil. Very sad, but necessary evil. <laughs> 
I think we're at a point we can probably put the speed up now. It looks pretty stable in terms of their route pathing. So I think we can go ahead and do that. And it would appear that Smokey wants to jump up here too. Okay, buddy. It's okay. Come on up. Yeah. There you go. Say hi to the camera. Or don't. <laughs> I will need you to sit down though, sir, because I can't see much of the screen with you standing in front of my eyes. Can we sit down? Please? Please? Sir? Sir? Can we do that? Can we do that? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> so be it. Can't see my mouse either. There we go. So, yeah. It is improving. Very slowly, but it's, we are definitely paying the maintenance. And most of the loan interest, too. I think this might just be viable, having these two cities so close together. I may not need that coal mine after all. Which is good, because I really didn't want to have to use that as a crutch. So, If you look, think about it, we spent 100 and... almost 110 exactly on construction and vehicles, and that pretty much did it. Um, given they then didn't have full income because they were still getting their paths running, I think we should do slightly better this year, and thus actually clear off some of this debt, I think. That's uh, my hope, anyway. Kitty, we've talked about you chewing on the buttons of my shirt before, and, and we decided we weren't going to do it, right? We decided that? Okay, I decided that. You may not have. <laughs> Silly kitties. No, sir. Don't chew on that. I would like to be able to do it up at some point. Maybe. <laughs> That's growing pretty well. Yeah, I definitely need to add more... more vehicles. And definitely, though, we are making headway. This is good. This is very good. This is much better than my practice games. My practice games was just a slow spiral of loan interest death. I had I got to a point where I was just about solvent, pretty close to even, but it would not support the loan, even after I repaid it down to where it is now. It was just enough to stay solvent if there was no loan, but Sadly, the loan slowly just destroyed me. But this is a much better start. Oh, apparently, Sloan Haven has built a bank somewhere. Well, they don't match our mission parameters, so we will not be using banks. Because they are neither passengers nor mail, and those are the only two things I'm willing to carry. This is the Express. <laughs> Which is probably hard to imagine since the vehicles only go at 20 kilometers an hour. But officially this is Express. <laughs> it's fine. Later vehicles will be so much faster it'll be alright. For now we'll just uh, grind our way through with these. And I will try to keep running commentary while simultaneously petting two cats, because distractions are a good thing, apparently. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. And I'm not sure if anyone's been watching my FTL series, and if so, I apologize for last week. I managed to just basically grind my way through one video, and that's all I could manage last week, because I was very sick. I had no voice, and could barely keep my eyes open, so it was not a good day to be recording. But I'm much recovered now, so should be no problem to record a bunch of stuff today. I'll probably end up doing two open TTDs, one for Saturday, one for Wednesday, and I might do an FTL or two as well, just to add some variety. But we shall see.
It's such a busy depot. I'd hate to be one of the fellows working there. So many coming in and out so fast. You'd be, the logistics of that must be insane. <laughs> Actually, looks like we're just about ready to pay off. Yes, we are. Excellent. That's how I know for sure we're doing fine. If we can pay off loan portions, we're getting somewhere. So I think what I want to do is get the loan completely paid down before I branch out to another city. Well, there's this one here, which is quite large. It's a little bit far away. Um... Well, probably about the same distance as this one, but it's much larger. So I think we'll be connecting Slendingville next. But, like I say, it's a bit of a distance, and I do want to get the debt paid down before I really get into that, so we'll have to save up some money to do that. But once the loan is paid off, all that money we were paying in interest is becomes, suddenly becomes profit, effectively, so... That is a good thing. Very good indeed. We manage about 13 to 14 a year. This will be paid off in 7 or 8 years, and that's not bad at all. And in all reality, it'll slightly speed up near the end when the loan is almost gone, because that interest will be distinctly less. You can see already it went down a little bit just because I paid it back partway through the year. Pretty late in the year, I guess. Excellent. It will be really nice when we get better trams, though. <laughs> that will definitely help. And it looks like Slonhaven wants to build mostly out this way. And Lewis Shaw is kind of building a little bit over here. But not so much. The population's actually dropped a bit while they're in the middle of rebuilding. Oh, I should put a headquarters down. Definitely. Where shall I put it? Probably, I do want it somewhere in this area, nearby. Um, maybe right here on the banks of this nice little river. There we go. I mean, it's not much to look at now, given it's just a very small house, but still, you have to start somewhere. And I left the, um, they haven't started yet, but I left, the, oh, actually, I speak of the devil, one has just started. Um, I left the same two AIs as I did in Season 3, so, because they seem relatively reasonable. They're mostly into passenger and mail traffic as well, so I figured they would actually work better in this series than they did in the last series, so... I left them as is. Now, there were some script errors popping up. I don't know if that'll happen again. Or if that was caused by something unrelated. I have no idea. So I'm giving them another chance to redeem themselves. <laughs> so where did... Oops, not me. Where did male AI start? Oh, they don't build a headquarters. Okay. Not sure I'm going to be able to see them on. I have the map pretty large, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see them. I don't know where they've started. Yeah, until they get bigger, I probably won't be able to see them. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem, unless. Oh, they haven't actually built any vehicles yet. They haven't really done anything yet. 
Eh, oh well, whatever. They'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not sure if that script actually uses trams or whether it only uses rail. If it only uses rail, it's in a bit of trouble because there aren't any trains yet. I don't remember when the first trains become available, but I know it's not for a while yet. I think around 1850, but I'm not 100% on that. And if that's the case, then the male AI is just going to be sitting there with its thumb up its butt doing nothing. <laughs> so. And that means I think the other AI should start in 1804. I think they're staggered two years, if I recall correctly. It's hard to say for sure because I don't generally pay that much attention to the AIs. Especially like when they start. Ex they're not really in the way until much later when you're trying to build near a city they've already infested. <laughs> well, that's fine, too. Okay, so I'm holding up mail pretty well, but definitely not doing well on passengers. I wonder if I should pop in five more passenger trams. Slonhaven definitely doesn't need them, though. Well, I guess the main one does, but the subsidiary stations definitely don't. But Lewis Shaw needs them badly. At least the, these two. Again, not so much on the peripheral, but... Yeah, I think it would be worthwhile doing... There, you got one there, that will do That'd be a lot easier if I pop one up. That. Two, three, four, and five. Right, and we'll let them get going. Closey that, closey that, closey that. And we'll give that a bit to go. That does, of course, mean I now am not in a position to pay off a loan segment. But they will themselves be profitable, so I think it's worth doing. And they'll help a little bit with this massive backload. But I still don't think that's enough. I think that's still going to be overall ticking upwards. But, that's so not much I can do about that. The number of trams I would need just to service this, I don't think that any of them would be able to move. The, the, the lines would be so thick with them. And these lines are already messy enough, in my opinion, that I don't need to make it worse. <laughs> so, we'll just go with this and let it be. I guess at some point I will need to plonk another station out here to service this bit. And one down here to service this bit. Unless I do a complete swap around and just have a single tram that just does one city, a single tram that does one city, and then a third tram that just connects the two main stations of said cities. I could do it that way. That would work as well. It's going to take me quite a while to rejig all of the uh, all the current trams to do that, but I could do that. That is an option. But I think it might be a good option to do. So I think I'll do that in between episodes. I think that'll make more sense to do that than to do it the way I'm doing it now, because right now it'd be a total mess to add any stations. Whereas if I do it in a way where each city has its own network, 
it's not as much of a change. But I definitely need another station down here, for sure. Maybe even one up here as well, for them. Definitely need a station here, here, maybe here, and here. So I need quite a few more stops. So I'll probably have to extend some debt to get by those stations too, but we'll wait and see how it goes. The other thing is, I mean, at this point, these cities are going to overlap each other. There's no doubt of that. So I might even just make... leave this... Yeah, it's hard to say. Because this right now is sort of an inner city if I assume that these two cities have merged. They'll still officially be the two cities separately, but the housing will overlap and you'll never really be able to tell who's who. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'll have to think about the best way of doing that. But definitely, I w in between episodes, I'm going to add a few more stations. And I'll, cause I'll have, the reason I want to do it off-camera is I'm going to have to go through every single vehicle and make sure that their orders list is updating, because I'm not sure that it actually took the order list as updating and didn't just copy it. I think I just copied it. So I have to go through every single vehicle and switch it to be an updater using the control go instead of just go because I'm pretty sure I missed that. So, yuck. <laughs> that and I'll have to figure out some route for these things to take to get over here and down here without too much mess. Yeah, I, I, I definitely have a lot of work to do. Definitely a lot of work to do to fix this. So I should definitely do that. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll do that off camera. It's it's very very tedious and boring, and I wouldn't make anyone sit through it. Um, I will show you what I'm doing, just so we're cl you're clear on what's going on. Um, basically, when you're setting orders for a vehicle, um, if you use go to then click on an existing vehicle, it'll copy what that other vehicle has. But if you use control and click on the go-to, then it does a an actual sharing one where it always, like if you then update one vehicle, it'll update the other one as well. And I don't know if I can show that nicely without making... Um, yeah, okay, let me see if I can show that real quick just so you can see what I'm talking about. If I go ahead and add in the station down here... That was a passenger, so I need a freight. Okay. And I need three vehicles in total. Two and three. Okay. Alright, so on the first one, I will say to go ahead and add in Lewis Shaw, and I guess we'll have it do it right about here. Actually, I should probably do it here. What do you mean you started near me? That's not cool. Um, okay, so now P has the order to come here as well. Whereas P3 and P2, wherever it went, right, do not have that order. If I just use go to, then on this vehicle, which is going to be kind of hard to get at, I should probably do this at the depot. Sorry if I'm making a mess of explaining this, but. So if I say. 
in the depot here. I, I mostly just need this list. Okay, so on P2, if I say go to P, it will pick up... Okay, it's, it didn't actually do it. You didn't even copy, jerk. <laughs> anyway, we'll copy this one. Why not on go to? Go to this one. Interesting, it's not even copying properly for me now. Okay, so I'm definitely doing this off camera because now I don't know what it's doing. But anyway, the theory would have been if I just did a go to on that one, it would pick up the new station. But if I then added another station of P, P2 wouldn't update. And then on P3, I was going to show you control go to, and it would be updating. But either way, I will have to manually fix all of these, so we won't worry about it for now. For now, let me just get the stations themselves put in. So we will want one over here somewhere. Maybe here and here with the connected to halt and connected to south and we want one up here somewhere passenger and freight and one down here somewhere passenger and freight. And now I need to figure out a way to connect these onto the main track. Well, getting them on the actual track is very easy, but I mean to get a path that can go through without being a total mess, is what I mean by that. Next, that one. Maybe it's worth just dragging this one right across. Maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, do I not have the capacity to? Update that bridge. Right, but that's road only. That's not allowing trams, is it? is it? I can't really tell on this graphic, but I think it is a lot, it is connected. It looks like it is. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Otherwise that will be not so good. So now we have actual loops all the way around. Whether they're well placed or not is completely separate, but anyway, that's either here nor there. And yeah, the uh, male AI really did put in something right inside my area. That's not cool at all. Having said that, I don't think he actually figured out how to put a path on there. Unless he's just... <laughs> ok, 
Okay, it's trying to use the road network and can't figure out the way because I don't have a road that goes in between them. And it's, I guess that maybe it's not letting him build a road because I built these tracks? Either way, his only vehicles are very, very lost. <laughs> but I feel bad for the poor deer, so I will help him out. Because that's just the nice kind of fellow that I am. There, I think that has fixed him. There. I did a nice thing for my competition. Now he actually has a route and can actually try a little bit. Uh, male AI is still doing nothing. So at least Jalin Alta is at least going to try a bit. Whether it's successful or not is completely separate, but at least it can function. However, nominally, it, it can function. I still don't know why it keeps coming in here to turn around. That does seem kind of odd to me. It should be able to just follow this path right around. I don't think there's a break in here anywhere. Unless it's built some other station somewhere that it's trying to get to, but I don't see another one. Nope, I don't see another one. I don't even see his vehicles anymore. Well, they're around somewhere. Lost and confused. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> well, go with that, I guess. In the meantime... Uh, we're still not quite ready to pay down. Because I spent too much on construction. That's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Yeah, why would you go all the way down here to turn around? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Surely this goes all the way. With a... Or is this corner not counting? Did I miss some portion of this corner? Don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's already there. So I really don't know what it's upset about. Strange. Oh well. Not gonna worry about it. That's Jillin's problem, not mine. It just seems very odd to me. But, so be it. At least now I think I've got a structure in place. Um, I think these ones are close enough to handle this, although at some point I'll have to expand them. But for now I think I've got... Actually, I kind of need one in here, don't I, as well? Somewhere in here. I guess I'll add that while we're at it, just to... Oops. Streetcar. north. Okay. At least that way, that's all covered as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to put a cut in the episode here, and in between this section and uh, the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and rebuild the routes, um, and I'll decide, I haven't 100% decide whether I'm going to do the cities separately or combined, um, so I'll decide that and set them up. So when next you see me, the I'll go over what I did really quick 
whichever way I went, and you'll be right caught up. So until next time, folks, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching.